dear all welcome to civil services with zaki today we are going to discuss about the unknown hydrocarbon cycle hiding in the oceans and basically it is the one of the most significant uh, cycle and basically it is basically hard to relate to the hydrocarbon as you know the petroleum product and all things we use day to day life is also related to the hydrocarbon so uh, this topic is related to UPSC PT 2023rd and it is related to the ecology environment and as you know the most of the petroleum product in all these are the hydrocarbon and fossil fuel and all that so these are the major concern and basically the uh, related to the marine pollution so uh, we will discuss all topic and all uh, things related to uh, this topic but please please subscribe our channel tell your friends and colleagues and uh, don't forget to um, subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon so uh, first uh, we uh, also uh, want to introduce we soon uh, we recently launched our zaki asked zaki sir so uh, you can uh, ask any question related to ecology, environment, geography and science uh, basically and all questions are basically related to the UPSC exams whether it is prelims or mains. So uh, for that you can easily uh, join our live class and basically these are the one of the free live classes on my app this app. So let's uh, uh, move forward. and. Uh, and uh, know what are the today's subtopics so uh, here see number one humanity hydrocarbon footprint number one and number two the immense hydrocarbon cycle and basically these immense hydrocarbon cycle is hiding in the uh, oceans so it's also one of them another is what is biogeographic priming so what is biogeographic priming uh, i also we, we also discuss all that so the sample from the sargasso sea and basically these samples uh, basically the hydrocarbon cycle samples are collected from the sargasso sea uh, uh. and another is the analysis of the data and can it work on petroleum so basically these immense hydrocarbon cycle uh, is natural cycle so can it work on the human made uh, uh, petroleum product and all that so uh, it can work on petroleum or not uh, uh, basically this this is the one of the also uh, significant question and as you know finally mega question for UPSC CSC 2000 the 23rd and basically it is the five most probable question for the UPSC as you know in the previous year direct question uh, from our video 22 direct question so th that's why these questions are one of the most significant question for the UPSC prelims and basically uh, if you are appearing this year on 28th May then uh, this is very very significant for you so let's we move forward and see the context so a team of researcher at the uc santa barbara and woods hall oceanographic institute in p in sort you can call it whoyy uncovered the completely unknown cycle of natural hydrocarbon emissions and basically recycling facilitated by the uh, diverse range of tiny organism uh, basically this is bacteria and archaea which could help uh, us better understand how microbes have power to clean up the mist while it spill leaves in the ocean as you know uh, some of the uh, while uh, spills in the basically uh, Atlantic Ocean some of the Indian Ocean and all that so these type of microbes can clean these while it spills because these isles are also related to the hydrocarbon so let's we move forward and see another things another humanity carbon footprint uh, sorry hydrocarbon foot, uh, foot, footprint so hydrocarbon footprint it means uh, you can use uh, any type of petrol and all that uh, it's are basically related to the hydrocarbon so if you see here today humanity hydrocarbon footprint can found most of the aspect of our surrounding you can see here and there and all that so we emit these molecules composed of only carbon and hydrogen atoms in many ways like the bulk of the extractions and use of the fossil fuel 
one of the most is fossil fuel but also uh, plastics cooking and candles painting and all that so um, such type of the petroleum jelly and all that so uh, we use uh, hydrocarbon day to day life so uh, and so on so if you see so it's probably it should not be a huge surprise that a track of our own emission drowned our ability to see the immense hydrocarbon cycle that naturally occur in the ocean so basically uh, our uh, hydrocarbon footprint are very very less regarding the, this natural hydrocarbon it means 500 times uh, greater uh, uh, than, than the, this is so it means uh, uh, humanity uh, hydro footprint is 500 times lesser than this natural but these natural hydrocarbon emissions are basically recycled quickly within two days so let's we see uh, another things the immense hydrocarbon cycle so if you see just two type of the cyanobacteria and basically it is pro chlorococcus and syncococcus uh, these uh, two type of the bacteria are adding 500 times more hydrocarbon than ocean per year per year uh, uh, per year than some of the all other types of the petroleum input to the ocean whether it is human whether it is natural cow, uh, uh, cows so including natural oil spill oil spills fuel dumping non uh, runoff from the land and all that so uh, this is a huge number and uh, see these microbes collectively produce 300 to 600 million metric ton of pentadecan pentadecan as you know pentadecan is also uh, hydrocarbon per year that's amount very dwarf about 1.3 million metric ton hydrocarbon released from all other sources it means all other sources it means uh, uh, extraction from the oil uh, basically using of the hydrocarbon and all that from the humidity and all the natural so it's only 1.3 million metric ton but only two bacteria cyano and uh, cyanobacteria 300 to 600 million metric ton so let's see, uh, see how uh, it's huge so let's we see so these hydrocarbon primarily uh, basically uh, if you see these are the basically pentadecan 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 means 15 uh, carbon atom as you know uh, butane, uh, pentane, hexane, heptane, etc. are related to the number of the carbon in the uh, present in the hydrocarbon. So uh, uh, these uh, pentadecan are spread across 40 percent of the earth's surface. So if you see the earth's surface covered by 70 percent of the oceans in these 70 percent 40 percent covered by these penta decaying hydrocarbons so see how the vastness of greatness of this uh, cycle so if you see but they are constantly being cycled in a such way that only 2 million metric ton so if you uh, see any time uh, in the all sense you can't find that 600 million or 300 million but you find only 2 million because they are present at a one time because uh, they are uh, recycled by the another microorganism archaea so every it, it means according to the research team it means every two days you produce and all consume pentadecan in the ocean so if you produce 300 met, million metric ton then you also consume 300 million metric ton it means uh, in two days uh, these cycle are completed by these bacteria and archaea so it is a huge hydrocarbon cycle so see what is biogeographic priming so if you see here uh, when the ocean microbial population is conditioned to a particular energy sources in a specific geographical area is called biogeographical prime. It means if you see some bacteria present here, 
and situated uh, confined these area only uh, due to the uh, some energy resources and all that so these area are basically for that bacteria is called bio geographic primary so see here in a picture so see here bio geographic primary so see the open sea and oil spill region it is mostly human and natural and natural uh, oil spill and human uh, oil spill uh, here is the new hydrocarbon cycles so if you see here it's about <coughs> two uh, <coughs> 1.3 million and it is 270 to 300 million. <coughs> but uh, if you see these recycled quickly by cyanobacteria and uh, archaea. Cyanobacteria releases pentadecane and uh, these archaea consumed pentadecane and release the carbon dioxide and finally this cycle completed. So this cycle is new for the world, new for the scientists and all that. No scientists are trying to uh, uh, solve the uh, uh, petroleum problem, petroleum oil spill because pentadecane is different, natural uh, pet uh, pentadecane or natural hydrocarbon cycle is different from the human made hydrocarbon cycle. So see here sample from the sargasso sea. So basically uh, these are uh, scientists uh, collected samples from the sargasso sea. Uh, <coughs> sample from the sargasso sea. So team sample seawater from the nutrient poor region. So basically uh, these area basically the sargasso sea are nutrient poor region in the Atlantic known as the sargasso sea named for the sargasso sea. So, due to uh, presence of the sargassum uh, seaward shift from the Gulf of Mexico, so the sargassum sea located entirely within the Atlantic Ocean. So, if you see here Atlantic Ocean and sargassum sea here. So, it's, uh, it is uh, the only sea without land boundary. If you find any sea, whether it is Bering Sea, whether it is uh, Arabian Sea, whether it is uh, uh, any sea across the globe, only one sea uh, basically is the Sargasso Sea without land boundary. So, without, so what is difference between the sea and ocean and all that? Then you can also join my regular class, regular lecture, and also uh, you can join my free live class. So, let's we go forward and see. <coughs> uh, See here, this is Sargasso Sea. This is Sargasso Sea, and this is uh, the Sargassum uh, basically. And due to this uh, Sargassum Sea, uh, uh, these areas are called Sargasso Sea. So, if you see the Sargasso Sea, uh, basically, harbor the species of Sargasso, it is called Halo Holoplegic. Holoplegic means the Holoplegic is the only uh, living being. Uh, they can't use the uh, basically the soil or the basement of the sea floor. They all already floating and uh, uh, continuous vegetative reproductive du during this floating area. So uh, you can find this. This is also, uh, th that's why this area is called Sargasso Sea, and Sargasso Sea is the unique in the world. So let's uh, we for, move forward and see the analysis of the data. So basically, in the analysis of the data, scientists found the concentrations of the pentadecane uh, increased with the greater abundance of the cyanobacteria cell and the hydrocarbon hydrocarbon geographic and vertical distribution consists with these. Uh, areas ecology, microbes ecology. So the cycle uh, of the pentadecane in the oceans follow the dial cycle. So basically uh, that dial cycle of the cyanobacteria is the vertical migration in the water in response to changes the light intensity throughout the day. So if you see the light, uh, uh, light fall from this area, then these bacteria go to the bottom when uh, at night they come up so, so this vertical 
movement vertical motions due to migration due to the light is called dial cycling another is the the findings suggest that cyanobacteria are intended to the source of the biological pentadecan which then consumed by the other microorganism that produce carbon dioxide and the cyanobacteria then use it to continue so it's the cycle so these cyclic process are basically the huge means 300 million metric ton released by these microbes and finally recycled also uh, this stuff so that's why uh, it is very significant cycle another is can it work on petroleum so it is the natural pentadecane is natural but the petroleum uh, can it work so see here the team identified dozen of bacteria and the surface dwelling archaea that bloom in response to the addition of the penta decay but in their sample uh, in the in the sample but if you see then they tested the hydrocarbon consuming microbes could be break down the petroleum they also tested but few bacteria are uh, basically uh, yes, uh, result is positive but most of the bacteria are negative so the researcher added a petroleum hydrocarbon to the sample increasingly closer to the area with the active oil is sweeping basically near the gulf of, gulf of mexico so now the researcher have begun the sequencing of the genome of the microbes in the sample to the further understand the ecology and physiology of the creature involved in the earth natural hydrocarbon cycle so now the scientists are using the genome sequence of these microbes and uh, and see um, and basically try to uh, see how these microbes can recycle, uh, recycle pentadecan and how they can uh, changes in the genetic material and maybe they useful for the petroleum product so in future it's a great uh, for the uh, it's a great it's a research a research or great basically discovery for the humanity uh, this uh, new hydrocarbon cycle to uh, recycle our own hydrocarbon footprint on uh, human human hydrocarbon human made hydrocarbon so it means uh, if we also find then it means not we uh, use uh, source type of uh, roughly so you can also uh, reduce your hydrocarbon fingerprint and uh, use sustainable way to the life so uh, we can protect our environment so that's all about this new cycle and as you know uh, this cycle is very very significant because if you replace the pentadecan and uh, put in a, instead of pentadecan you put uh, petroleum and after uh, these uh, successful uh, experiment maybe uh, th this bacteria consume this type of the petroleum and maybe there's some good result for our marine life so please please uh, subscribe our channel for the latest video and all that so our next video is also one of the most significant topic and uh, basically it is related to the science and tech and as you know it is related to the James Webb space telescope so it is the new uh, so what type of the new figures taken by the James Webb and all that so we will meet in the next video so before going as you know uh, we provide you note one note two note three five questions so five questions related to this topic Basically, it is mega question for the UPSC, CSC. So, as you know, the basically the hydrocarbon, basically, uh, um, as you know, which of the oceans, microbes, and all that. So, this one. So, you can find all these five questions in our comment box, please. Description box. So, uh, you go to the description box and click the link and solve the all five questions these five questions are very very significant as you know in previous year 22 questions directly asked for this video so this year uh, will also uh, about 25 to 30 questions so as you know uh, 
uh, it's uh, the 28th May for your exam. So, don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you are already subscribed, then please, please share this video. Tell your colleagues and friends. And uh, as you know, uh, if you want to uh, help us uh, to run this channel and our team, so please, please help us and scan this. And what you want and what type of the amount you want to donate, donate, please. Donate, please. So, uh, thanks, thanks for watching this video, thanks, thanks a lot.